Yeah. So now to the mass transit in Duval County. So the Jacksonville Transportation Authority says it is monitoring the coronavirus very closely and right now following recommendations from the CDC as well as from local authorities. On your side's Alex Osada who's invited onto the JTA campus and gives us a closer look tonight at their cleaning process. Alex? This is bus 24 that's getting cleaned right now. We're going to step inside and see them in action cleaning this bus. You can smell some of the supplies that they're using. They're going through this entire bus making sure that all of the handles and seats are clean. A process that takes more than 20 minutes. Lined up and waiting. This is the normal site at the JTA Depot downtown. The fleet which serves thousands daily across the city getting ready for a cleaning. If it goes out on the street and has customers on it or employees on it, we're going to make sure we clean and disinfect that entire bus or uh, vehicle every single day. There's about 300 of these buses, 100 or so paratransit vehicles, as well as Skyway trains in operation. All go through this disinfecting process before heading out for service. Cotton adds it's not just what's moving that gets a thorough cleaning. We're keeping a tab on all of our facilities, making sure uh, those transit stations are stocked with soap and hand sanitizer. JTA taking its cue from the CDC and local health agencies about operations and sanitizing, saying whatever will be safest for the customers. We're evaluating any additional preventative measures that we could put in place that could include, you know, having more uh, hand sanitizer on the bus, that sort of thing. We'll adjust that plan as we need to. Again, JTA monitoring the coronavirus situation closely and making sure that all of their buses are properly clean. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.